Hobbies. Hi guys, welcome back to Stockpile Hobbies. Thank you so much for joining us. As you know, I've been doing the Rainbow Vision series and I'm going to talk about number three today. And the third one is Uma Van Hoos. Or Hoos. I'm going to go with Van Hoos because I like that better. <laughs> As you can see, she's beautiful. I absolutely love the colors of her hair. As you can see, look at that. She's stunning. She is the number three in Neon Shadow. And I want to show you the rest of the box because she has some really beautiful artwork on this. And I wanted to show you what we have. If you look on the back, it has Neon Shadow. And then at the bottom, it says the world famous Rainbow Vision music competition is heating up. And the rocking girls of Neon Shadow have their eyes on the prize. I mean, look at that artwork. Isn't it absolutely stunning? Then if you look on the side, it shows that Uma has the music focus. So you can see that right there. And she is series one. Okay, so she's the first of the series in the Rainbow Vision group. So I can't wait to get her open so we can show you. All right, I'm so excited to show you her accessories now. Let's get started. We'll start off with the stand. She comes with a beautiful blue stand that has SH on it for shadow high. And then you're just able to put this in, which goes in pretty easily. And then right on the top, you'll put that in. There you go. And that's a, it's a super nice solid stand for the dolls to be able to put in and then you can pose them if you want to in any way and they actually stay in there really nice the next thing it comes with is the matching shadow high hangers you get a hanger for jackets or dresses or tops and then bottom skirt uh, pretty much anything you would want to hang on there and I like that because I use these for the closet when I get the extra outfits. So they're really, they're really nice. But it said the insignia of shadow on there and then SH. The next we'll have is the clothes that she comes with, which I think are pretty darn cute. Um, I have really enjoyed seeing all of the new uh, bits of clothing for all of the Rainbow Vision dolls I think they've they've really hit the nail on the head and I'm really enjoying them and I hope you will too but I'll start off first with the shoes so they're super cute they're high heeled shoes and they've got some little spikes on the front and as you can see there's a cute little attachment on the side but I like these shoes because they're really easy to get on and off and they've got a nice little design on them. I don't know if you can see them, but in the blue, there is like a silver design that is over the uh, the top part, the top arch of the foot. So that's super cute. And it's interesting because these shoes are a little mismatched. Um, if you look at the back, somebody went hog wild with the blue paint. So <laughs> they're not exactly the same, but they're close to the same and they look the same in the front. So I'll go with that. They're still cute. And then we'll go on to the jacket, which I adore. All of these jackets so far have been very well made. This one is absolutely no exception. And so it has a working belt. And I'm going to undo this here. It's a little pleather belt. And then um, on the outside, you will see that it is studded pleather down the arms. And it has a nice little buckle. It seems to be a fitted top. And it's got really nice pocket lining. Let's see, can I put my hands in for an actual pocket? No, these are faux pockets. <laughs> I guess they can't be real pockets all the time, right? <laughs> but if you look, it's got a really nice collar. This is almost like a jean material. I don't know. I, it's a little bit softer, but it still feels like a nice jean material. And then it's long, so I think it's one that goes down over the booty. And then on the back, it's got a little bit more of a design. It's also got a little stud there. And then to be able to hold the belt on so you can adjust it any way you want. 
And again, thank you for the lining in the jacket. I really like it. I really like it. It's going to make it so much easier to put it on and off the doll. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> we'll go on to the next part. We have her shirt, which is super cute. It has a little invisible straps, so it might look like a little strapless top, but it's got little straps. And then it says Hollywood and Shadow. Can you see that? Cute, right? And it's really easy to get on and off. It has Velcro. And that's one thing I really like about all of their designs. They make it a lot more accessible um, dexterity-wise to be able to cl get clothes on and off. Now, I know a lot of people have complained and said, oh, you know, the, the shirts are very fitted and sometimes that's hard. But, I mean look at the designs. You want them to be fitted, right? You want them to be fun. So sometimes you have to, you know, weigh one with the other, but I really like it. Um, then the last part is the skirt, which is really cute. It has like a little pleather underlay and then the top looks like a purple blue kilt. I'm really feeling that. I like that a lot. And then it's got, um, so the skirt won't ride up. It's got like that little little piece for the underskirt to, to be able to pull it on and it stays and it won't turn around or anything. It'll stay in the right position. That's something I really like because then the dresses, you're not constantly moving them. And then also it has Velcro for superior fit again. So that is super cute. I really like the skirt. Okay. We will go on to her, uh, band accessory. I should say, uh, I really love this guitar. <laughs> Can you see that? Oh my goodness. It's got lightning bolts everywhere. And it says shadow on the edge. I just, I really love it. This really reminds me of a guitar. Um, oh, what is his name? I cannot remember. Who plays in Metallica. And he has a lightning bolt guitar that looks very, very similar to this. Why I'm blanking on his name right now is beyond me, but it looks like this. So MGA, you might want to check that out. <laughs> oh gosh, but I really like the guitar. I think it's well made. I think it's going to sit really well when I put it on the doll. She's going to look stunning. Uh, the last part of her band accessory is her coffin case guitar holder and I wanted to open it up to show you but I'm a little nervous that I'm going to break these off. I actually tried to wiggle them. I tried to pull them really hard and um, I really don't want to break it. I have the feeling there might be something cool inside because I can see it. It actually does open like there is space but um, I'm too nervous that I'm actually going to break these off. So I'm going to work on this a little bit more. And if I can happen to get it open, I will. But I felt like I was prying really hard and um, I just don't want to break it. But I wanted to kind of see what the guitar looked like in the case and what the interior of the case looked like. But I'm going to wait on that for a little while. I might bring down the handyman and see if he can help me to get that open and hopefully it won't break. Um, but that's the extra band accessory too. So that's kind of cute. That little coffin case. I like that. All right. On to the lady of the hour. Let me show you. All right. I am so excited to show you Uma now. She is mwah, magnifique. I know I probably butchered it, but I wanted to show, I wanted to show you off. Hmm. I wanted to show you the last one. Now this is Uma and she is just magnifique. All right. So before I bring her out, I did want to show you that I was able to finally get the guitar case opened. So da, 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 da. Yay. I'm really happy about that. I did struggle with getting it open. Um, the locks, the, the switches, which should be very easy to get on and off are not, are not these little tiny switches. 
They are very difficult, but um, I finally got it open, and I have to say, I was a little disappointed. I thought it was going to be really cool inside, but it's actually just the uh, place to be able to put the guitar, and there's there's no like special zhuzh to it, which I thought there was going to be something fun, but as you can see, it just sets right in here, and I didn't take off the... I didn't take off the armrest or anything, but um, so that's how that fits in there. And then they just leave a little slot so you can pull the guitar in and out. But that is it. Um, shoot, I thought it was going to be a lot more exciting inside, but it wasn't. So, oh, well, no big deal. I still think she's going to look pretty awesome with her guitar anyways. Uh, I also did forget that uh, she does come with her comb, too, as do the other girls. I'm not sure if I had mentioned that before, but she does come with a matching comb that goes with her stand as well as her hangers. All right, here is this gorgeous lady. Look at Miss Uma. Is she not stunning? I, I want my hair to be this color. This is I'm not sure if it's picking up well on camera, but she looks awesome to me in real life. It's like a purple, blue, beautiful hue. I don't know if you can see that. Unfortunately, they did put a lot of the cream gel in her hair. She has very stiff hair all the way around. It's, it crunches. <laughs> it doesn't really have a lot of style to it. It kind of looks like they wanted to you know, make some curls at the bottom, but I, I'm not sure what they were, I'm not sure what they were thinking on this one. So I will definitely be combing out her hair, making it a lot smoother and giving it some styling because as of right now, it's very chunky, very thick, kind of unpleasant to touch, but really pretty to look at. So there it is. <laughs> if you take a look at her, her makeup, it's not, I'm not sure if we can see it, under the hat. I didn't pull the hat off because I haven't taken off the tacks on the side just because it sits on her head so well. So I didn't want to do that. But she's got really uh, light blue and pink makeup as well as some pink lipstick. Um, it's interesting. I look at her eyes and I think she has the same eye color as Emmy. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm looking at it and boy, it looks pretty darn similar to me. Um, I don't have Emmy here with me at the moment. She's upstairs, um, but gosh, the more I look at it, there's like a pink, a blue, and a purple color. I don't know. Looks very similar to me. Um, she's got some really cool earrings, too. Let me see if I can get her hair pulled back. She has a key and a locket, right? Cute. Super cute. I'm really jazzed about that. She's got a little bit of netting for an undershirt, and then this is a blue sequined top that Velcros on and off, and I believe this is two separate shirts that you can take on and off. Um, so that's nice. So you can either use it with the netting or without. And she's got some uh, fancy accessories. She's wearing a couple dis different bracelets. We have one silver one and then one studded one. And uh, she's got some very interesting pants. So she comes with uh, the shadow high belt, but this one actually is attached to the pants. It doesn't come right off. This one is all one piece. So a lot of the belts do come off if you want them to, but this one does not. Um, and then, uh, you know, it looks a little bit like some kilt material, a couple different colors. We got some purple, blues, white. It's it's very busy. It's got a lot of little zippers on it. It's got um, little little tags coming off of it. There is a couple of strange things um, on these pants. So this, not, not sure why that's like that. Um, it's very odd. It goes from one of the faux pockets to like a lower cargo pocket. Um, yeah, and it it doesn't come off. So that that's an interesting accessory choice. I don't know that I would do that, but okay. Um, then she's got a, a very long string hanging off and then another one on her leg. 
they don't make too much sense to me, but uh, they fit really well, um, and they're kind of cute little, little bit capri pants, so that's kind of nice. And then on the back, um, she does have, yes, she does have two faux pockets, and then you also can Velcro it on and off. So those are her pants, and then she has got some cute little matching Shadow High shoes. There's little slip-ons. I left the plastic on because I have noticed that the shape of these shoes actually comes off really easily. So um, because I'm not going to be changing her outfit right away, I will later. Um, I just leave these on temporarily for now. But um, that is Miss Uma, and I think she's super cute. Oh, I did forget to talk about the hat. So... I really love the hat. It's a pleather hat, and it says shadow on the front of it. And I'm not going to take this off be just because I still have it attached because it sits so well at the moment. Uh, but then if you turn around to the back, it's uh, a cute little design with shadow high, of course, insignia on it. But that is what I wanted to show you. That is what this fine lady looks like along with all of her accessories. So thank you so much for joining us, and I hope that you can see some of the other videos that we have available. We have a ton of different stuff. We've got Rainbow High, we've got Shadow High, we've got My Little Pony, we've got tons of different stuff around here. We've got Transformers, and we've got Slot Cars, all of this fun stuff. So I hope you will check out some more of our stuff from our family channel. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We hope to see you again soon.